Hi, I'm Stephen Lewis Simpson, and I'm here today to talk to you about our attempts to get the novel Neither Wolf Nor Dog by Kent Nurburn made into a feature film. The novel came out about 19 years ago, has been highly acclaimed, uh, is much loved in Indian country and beyond, as, and is used in educational forums and the likes. And uh, we've been trying for some time to get everything together to raise the money to uh, make this into a movie. Um, we've had a couple of attempts of getting pretty far along the way, but uh, you know, often it's difficult in movies to get over that last hurdle of financing. So we're just trying to scrape together enough to actually get the film shot. A big part of the motivation uh, for us in terms of shooting as soon as possible is the fact that we have a dream lead actor for the key role of Dan, and that is the Lakota elder Dave Bald Eagle, uh, who has been acting for many years, going back to works with uh, Errol Flynn and Marilyn Monroe many, many moons ago. Um, but he personifies for us exactly what the character of Dan needs. But he is now 95 years old and in, in great health, I have to say. But it's important that uh, we use this extraordinary human being as Dan because that's what really is going to bring the film alive and take it to a whole new level. And so we're hoping to shoot in September. Uh, right now I'm on Pine Ridge location scouting. The film is set throughout a lot of back roads and um, it's very important for us that the film is very, very beautiful. So, you know, there's sort of been no stone unturned with the location scouting. We are trying to raise enough money that can cover our set of incidentals and our main costs through production. Um, I can provide a lot of the equipment and have the resources to bring us through the majority of post-production to the point where we can start showing it and, and pulling the final elements in together there. But it's, it's crucial, as I say, that we shoot with uh, Dave Bald Eagle while he's healthy and fit. I've developed uh, a great friends base with a lot of the key uh, Native American actors uh, throughout North America today. So, and a lot of them are people who love the novel. So we are in a great position of getting a very, very strong cast throughout the whole film, which is very exciting for us. So far I have made uh, three works in Indian country, the feature film Razbam and the feature documentary that I made over 13 years of Thunder Being Nation were both shot in about Pine Ridge Indian Reservation. And then more recently I did the arts and entertainment and culture show The Hub, with 13 parts that were set all throughout North America and Indian country. A lot of our incentives are not ones that you have to wait a year or so to the end of a production to get. We have a lot of DVDs and posters and you know we're hopefully going to try and make some artwork available and things like that as part of the incentives package. And so any help that you can give would be gratefully received and uh, you know it's crucial that we sort of hit this target so we can keep the momentum going that we have. But uh, if you can't contribute or if you've managed to contribute but would like to help otherwise, it's crucial that we get this out to as many people as possible. So please share all the links that are available and, um, and just help get the word out. Because this is a very important story. I've, I've heard it called in Hollywood uh, the great contemporary unmade American Indian screenplay. And so... Um, you know, there are a lot of people out there that are big supporters of getting it made, but, you know, Hollywood has never really been receptive to projects set in Indian country, and particularly ones that are done in a very uh, authentic way. So please help any way you can. Thanks very much.